Hello everyone, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. So in this particular video, I wanted to share you a few important information and I also wanted to tell you how you can handle the tough situation that what is happening in the current market. So the discussion that what we are going to have today is what is the impact of IT jobs in this recent US tariff issues, right? So let me tell you what exactly happens whenever you are buying any product like that you are going to import some products from us so obviously you need to go and pay tax right so that is like we call it as a tariff let's say you buy any of the product and they impose 20 percent 30 percent tax and for that you will have to pay extra so uh, let's say for a hundred rupees product and they are imposing 50 percent tax then you will have to end up paying 150 rupees to get that product from there right so this is what is the tariff means so currently what is happening and uh, as we know that in the last few months, what we have been observed, U.S. President Sir Trump has been imposing a lot of tariff, like let's say 50%, 100%, 60% on different products that we are importing from their country. So that is the talk of the town that is happening across the globe. And um, how it is going to affect the IT is something which I'm going to discuss in this particular video. That's completely my prediction. I've been working in a service-based company and I've been working with US clients for almost like 11 years now. So sharing my experience, sharing my thoughts, it's, it's completely my prediction what can happen. And in order to overcome this challenge, I'm also going to give you some tips that how you can handle this situation. I know it's a tough situation across all the IT jobs, so how it has impacted. So I'm going to help you with some suggestions. So let's see what is exactly happening. In this Trump's 2.0 time, like we have observed that the U.S. government are putting higher tax on the goods coming from other countries, right? So here, what we are going to do, we cannot do anything here. This is something the U.S. government has decided, right? And whatever the import that we are going to do, we will have to pay tax. So here, you would have seen in the last few months, the Trump has been imposing like 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% tax on different products. Now, what exactly is this? Let's say you're buying a product from US, you will have to pay, instead of 100 rupees, you'll have to pay 150 rupees. That 50 rupees is nothing but 50% tax. Now, like this, when they impose tax, that means you are paying more and getting less, right? And that's exactly has happening in US government in the last few months. And it's not only with India, they are doing it with almost every country in order to improve their country's economy this is what is happening right now what's next this is going to affect the it service so india is one of the country where we provide majority of the services to the us clients right so now what is going to happen the tax and the tariffs is also going to be applied on indian it service right so let's say you guys are going there or we have a us projects so the actual billing may not be the actual billing, maybe there will be a tariff that will be applied for that projects as well. Apart from this, we have also been observing that there is a lot of issues that have been happening in H1B visas as well. So initially it was very easy to get H1B, but now they have more rules, they have more regulations and they have more of verifications and now it's getting tougher and tougher to get your visa, right? Because of this, the number of people from India going to US has drastically decreased and let me show you the numbers so before even i show you the numbers this is exactly what is happening and all this news is being taken from economic times times of india and the indian express if you see all of this and in the last two days i've been collecting i've been doing a lot of research on this and we have been seeing that there is a big blow for it is it true Let's, we have to wait and watch. And this Trump 2.0 impact, we're also seeing that IT is also being impacted just because of all those sort of traffics. Now, how can we handle this? Well, let me tell you first, because of this new policies, what they have introduced in the 2.2 time, we have been observing the number of H-1Bs have been gone down drastically in the last five years. And you can see the top five companies, TCS, HCL, Mindtree, Infosys, and Wipro, which is a major contribution for the H-1B visas. You can see that from 2021 to 
to 2025 and we are almost done right we are almost done with the year end we have another october november december so we are almost towards the end of the year and you can see it is almost half what has happened from 2021 to 2025 right so drastically it has decreased and indians it firms h1b have gone down drastically that they are making even more tough in terms of getting your application shortlisted and the sponsorships also are also going down so in the last 5 years we have been seeing oh, what a drop here and particularly this year has been the biggest to hit now what's next right so because of all of this numbers the current issues what we are observing as of today is they have tightened the eligibility right they have come across lot of rules and regulations made h1b visa to get tougher and tougher you will not get that easily right you will have to go through lot of process to get that and also as i said us government has been imposing lot of tax in the last few months and definitely this is going to affect the indian it market and in the recent times i have also read some of the news that is from journalists from us what they are looking for is as of now india is a one country which is contributing more to the bpo jobs like when i say bpo jobs it's like a call center jobs right now us wants to have their own bpo jobs rather than relying on india so it is indirectly stated that indians may lose all of this bpo call center jobs but is it only that who knows even the it roles right the software engineers even these guys may be affected and in the last few weeks we have also been observing there is lot of things happening in us like there is a clash between the indians and us so it's it's happening even though the country is still maintaining the friendly relation but we have been observing there are some new projects as put on hold and now personally i am saying from my experience i have been observing in the market in the last few months the number of projects that we are getting from us has drastically been down now now this is not a confirmation i am just giving you we have observed it could be a coincidence because of this but there is a talk that it may affect the it roles now there are two things what we can do one is maybe the number of projects that we are getting from us may be down but india is also pushing to get the projects from other countries right now us is not the only country so we are diversifying all the other country the talks is going on and in improving the scalability of the jobs now what us is doing of course if you think from their point of view preference will be given to the their people first and the skills and the technologies what they look they'll give the first preference for them and then they'll think about outsourcing right so as of now all the outsourcing what they are doing they're trying to get within their country the reason they want to grow as a country they want to improve their economy so they'll always think about them so what we can do now well what we can do it's all in our control right always want to keep saying this if you want to make yourself available irrespective of whatever happens in the market then it's the only goal is to upskill right so work very closely with the customers and try to create the dependencies so that at any cost we have to be part of that projects right so what i've been observing i've been working with lot of clients lot of us people so one thing what i've observed is they work they enjoy and they spend the time but what i have observed as an indian right so we spend long hours we attend late night calls which not like a 8 to 5 work for us right we most of the us clients what we work we put their second half we will work in the shifts we log in at 2 o'clock we log out at 11 o'clock so we work with shifts we provide lot of support and no one can be as dedication as indians can do right so this is a, our power now so we need to put lot of projects dependencies to make sure that yes we will be needed right and as i keep saying that globally if you want to be recognized get as much as certifications you can so certifications is a proof that you you are mastered in that particular skill get that diversify your experience don't focus on only on one domain try to explore more domain and try to keep track of what is happening go through the news explore what is happening read the articles right so stay informed just focus on what is happening in the market go through the news see which is a technology that can push you forward right and try to automate 
some works which you are doing as a manual work right so end of the day it's your skill you need to showcase right so by this i always remember an example right let's say there is a lion and back side there is a kingdom the forest where it leaves is on fire and what does the lion do do you think it, it can still be in a fear no the lion is still a lion the king is always a king and the king quietly walks to the next kingdom but what makes us as a lion its ability to lead it doesn't matter if the current kingdom is on fire let me go to the next kingdom now that's the same attitude we are expecting from you to be upskill that doesn't matter if it's not us if it's not russia if it's not china well end of the day it's an indian in india right so we are always here to put and give our 100 person and the ability to lead into different kingdoms is all about ability to work in different technology and different environment now that is what is expected as an it profession i would always take this challenge as a new change which is going to be in our career so maybe we are all in comfort zone now it's time to pull up our socks it's time to pull up our technology upskill and try to get that done right now that's where i keep saying this upgrade to the high value skills maybe ai start learning cloud start learning cyber security start learning coding it could be data science it could be data engineering and try to learn the skill which can put you 5 years down the line right so that is what is needed well if you're all still thinking about a comfort zone just i'll be writing just a sql code or maybe i'll just be attending the bpo calls well the world itself is unpredictable i've been seeing a lot of layoffs such as happening in the recent times well the only one way that you can avoid the layoffs is it's none other than upskilling well with this i'd like to end this discussion saying that if you want to survive the toughest market then you will have to be technically strong so be like a lion where you have the ability to run a show on any given environment with any given skill it's all about adaptability you have to adopt yourself you will have to upskill yourself and you will have to move forward there is none other than a solution than this well thank you so much for listening we'll meet in the next session